high. You probably noticed for the past few weeks that the Tuya Smart Life switches are not behaving correctly. You turn them on, they turn on, and then they usually toggle back off. You see? Okay. To fix this, I found two solutions. Initially, the first solution used was using a custom component and getting the private key, IP address, and the share key for the for every switch uh, from the Smart Life app, uh, control them directly without the cloud. And the second uh, solution is using another custom component uh, without getting any information. Uh, the component itself will look through the Wi-Fi and get all the information for you. I'm going to be showing you the two, the two options. And you can choose whichever of the two is the best for you. Let's see if I can turn this off. Okay. So, first we need to download a couple of programs. We need to install an Android emulator. Then the Tuya Smart App. And then a file explorer. So we can look at the file we need to download. As an Android emulator will be using the LD player, you can use any other one as long as you, you have root. Okay, then start it. I've got already installed the Smart Life app and the File Explorer. Okay, but if you want to install them, just drag them and drop them. You can download them, okay, from the APK Mirror. If you can't find them, just let me know and uh, I'll try to get you a link for them. After you install the two apps, you first have to de define a share folder. Okay, just define which folder on your PC you want to use as a share folder. Pictures and into the PC, pictures. Okay, so. Now open Smart Life. At this point, you'll have to to log in with your username or phone number and password, all the way to the point that you can see the your devices. Let's see if we can control them. Okay, this is another switch. Okay, this is the one. Okay. Now we can close the Smart Life app and now let's get the file. First off, all the way down, Tools, Root Explorer, Enable. Then Local, Devices, Data, Data again, Smart Life, Shared, we need this one, okay? Now you open it, three points, save as, and go back, MNT, and look for shared. In shared, I choose as picture as a share folder, if you remember pictures 
okay so pictures and say save now we can exit okay now open the share folder and we can exit now the emulator okay so this is the file we just downloaded from the Tuya app in this file the smart life app gathers all the information about all your switches locally which is the device ID uh, Wi-Fi network uh, locations GPS locations all the informations so we open this for security reason I deleted most of the switches just left one so you can see how it is and the information is not a real one but anyway in here you see you can see the device name locations but what we really need from here is the device ID and the local key now before we even use this information we have to install the custom component now I'm gonna be leaving this link into the, the descriptions you need to go here Thanks for, to the developer for this component. Just download it. Okay. Open it. Now, open your server locations and open custom components. If you don't have this folder, just create a folder with this name. Open it. As you can see, I already have it in here. What you have to do, open this. Just drag this and drop it in here. I already have it, so I'm going to say no. After you've got the local Tuya in here, you need to go to the configuration file my case the switch file I'm using different files for different devices so in here you need the IP address you need the local key you need a device ID platforms you say local to ya because this is the name of the component the name it can be anything you can call it whatever you want and the protocol for me is 3.3 I found it for most of the devices 3.3 if it doesn't work just use 3.1 or 3.2 okay so how do you get the IP address you either install an app into your phone something like who's on my network and look for the devices how do you find the device you're going to be having a lot a bunch of devices connected in order to know which one is which switch you can use the information from the same file so what we need from here we need local key local key is local key Let me see if I found it. Local key. Okay, so we need this. After local key, you've got quote, quote. Ignore that. Just copy the number in the everything after the quote, the second quote, up to the point of another quote. Just copy this. And this is the local key. You put this into the local key. Device ID. The device ID is this device ID again call code ignore just copy this and paste it in here now you look through the who's on my Wi-Fi app look for the, this device okay the, the, the name 
on the app will gonna be the device ID. This is how the device identify itself. You get the IP address, in my case, 192.168.08. Okay, and save this. Because these are not my real uh, data. And the real one is under this file. I'm gonna be deleting this. And I'm gonna rename this with the real information. Now, after you copied the local Tuya component and changed the information into the configuration file, you need to restart the server. Configurations, server control. You can check to see if you got everything correctly before you restart the server and just restart the server. Now, I've got them in here, but what you do, you configure and you add. Okay, let's see what we're doing. Buttons. Okay, entities. And from here, you look for the ones you just configure or the names you just configure. Okay, so is this one local, local, local? This is the names I chose into the file. Okay, you configure it. Okay. Okay, so let's see if it's working. As you can see, it doesn't toggle back. Works perfectly. Now this one doesn't change because this is using the real Tuya sensor cloud thingy and this is still messed up. Now, I've been using this for a couple of weeks and it's just working great. Okay. If you're after a simpler solutions, there is a custom integrations that modifies the cloud to your libraries and sort of fixes the problem. Please check my other video for that. Thank you.